What's going on? Rob with Three Strong here. I am at the pull-up bar. Pull-ups are movements that are actually incredibly difficult. A lot of people can't do pull-ups, but we can do alternatives such as a lat pull-down. We can do rows, um, things like that. Any movement where we're pulling the weight towards us. And there is actually a shoulder position. There's a consistent shoulder position that we need to keep regardless of whether we're pushing or pulling. So doing bench press, overhead press, the shoulder position is going to be the same as, as if we're doing a pull-up or some sort of row. And this is what I'm talking about. When we're doing a pulling motion, we want to be sure that since we're pulling the weight or ourselves towards us, that we need to pull those shoulder blades back. A lot of times when people struggle and have a little bit too much weight, what they'll do is instead of pulling the shoulder blades back, they'll, they'll drop forward. Actually, let me show you this way. Is instead of getting the shoulder blades back, they'll round forward and try to get over the bar. Well, this gets us into that bad postural position when we really want to open up and strengthen all the muscles on the back side of our body. When we're doing pull-ups, this is where we need to start. This is where our focus needs to be. If I'm hanging on a bar or I, I do a, um, a lap pull down in the gym, I want to be sure that the movement is being initiated essentially by the shoulder blades. So those muscles underneath our armpits, right here in the back, the traps, we need to do this little shrug first, set the shoulder blades, and then let the arms follow instead of just curling and getting ourselves over. This is the difference. I'm going to show you from the front so maybe you can see it, and then I'm going to show you from the back, which may give you a clear picture. So this is what you don't want to do. This is when you start to break down and things start to shift. So if I'm rounding over, notice how my shoulders start to go forward. This is what it looks like from the back. which looks very different than this. You're, you're not trying to pull your shoulders and your chest over the bar, you're trying to pull the bar towards your chest and this completely changes the way that this movement will feel. So you wanna keep the shoulder blades back, chest elevated. I initiate by pulling my shoulder blades back. You notice there's a lot more space here between my shoulders and then I pull down Keep my chest up. Let me show you that from the back. Try not to do too many of these before I get tired. And so you can see how my shoulder position changes. So whether you're doing pull-ups or lap pull-downs, start with the shoulder blades and you're going to engage those upper back, those even, even middle of your back muscles in the traps and the rhomboids and stuff. And that'll get a much bigger contraction all along the back side of your body, which is the area you're trying to develop with these. Okay? See you next time.